And you see at the hatchway the uh, four departing Crew 9 crew members posing for some final photos. Final handshakes and hugs between uh, the departing Crew 9 crew members and uh, the crew members who will remain on board the International Space Station maintaining a continuous human presence on the orbital laboratory that began on November 2nd, 2000. Go ahead on two. Uh, we are on in step five with the smoke. So he will uh, clean those off. Another view of the crew aboard uh, Dragon Freedom looking. Uh... There is a one SpaceX bag. It's labeled as unarmed PFD. It's a bag number is 153. In uh, its carabiner attached to one of the bungees in PMS 3. Can we just leave it as it is? Checking. Once again, uh, you're looking at a view uh, across uh, the four crew members, uh, Butch Wilmore in the foreground, uh, Alexander Gorbanov to his left, then Nick Hague and just obscured on the far uh, right-hand side of this configuration is Sonny Williams. Just about one hour and 24 minutes from now. Just to recap, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore accompanying Commander Nick Haig and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov for the ride downhill and a splashdown off the coast of Florida on Tuesday afternoon. We uh, will be resuming our coverage, joined uh, not just here at the Johnson Space Center, by, but by our colleagues in, uh, in Hawthorne, California, at the SpaceX Control Center. We will be back on the air just over an hour from now at 11.45 p.m. Central Time, 12.45 a.m. Eastern Time, for the undocking of the Dragon Freedom and the Crew-9 crew from the International Space Station. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel, and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time.